welcome let us now see the guidelines for design of square bunker this is also useful for design of rectangular bunkers see here required data we initially we require this data weight of the material to be stored in that bunker density of the material size of the cross section angle of repose grade of materials concrete and steel we are using there step 1 in step 1 we have to write the permissible stress constants see here as it is more like working stress method we have to take the permissible stress constants from the is 456 sigma cbc represents permissible stress uh, in concrete in bending compression sigma st represents the permissible tensile stress in steel step 2 that is the dimensions of the bunker we have to uh, we have to see volume of the bunker first according to the weight and according to the density they have given we have to find out the volume of the bunker this is this tells us how much volume is required in order to store that uh, that amount of material see here adopt the initial dimensions of the bunker later we have to assume the dimensions according to the volume we got so all our assumptions here so here we have to capital b represents the width of the bunker l represents the length of the bunker HS represents the height of the surcharge, HC is the height of the central portion, HH is the height of the hopper. Small L represents the length of the hopper bottom, small b represents the breadth of the hopper opening. After that, we have to measure, we have to calculate, uh, we have to calculate from the diagram the volume of the bunker. Volume of the surcharge we have to see. Volume of the central portion we have to see. Volume of the hopper bottom we have to see. So in all the portions, we are calculating the amount of I mean the value of volume so if we do that we will find if we add them all so height of surcharge here volume of the height of surcharge volume at the central portion volume of the hopper these are three points we have to find it out so you know very well what are these dimensions are given clearly there please check volume of the hopper bottom is here capital A plus small A plus cap root over capital A into small A so capital A represents the large area that is length into breadth here small b a represents a length into breadth this see here total volume we can get by adding all these 1 plus 2 plus 3 and we have to check the volume here with the volume we have measured initially weight by density this is uh, this is the volume according to the dimensions we have assumed we have to cross check both of them if the uh, provided volume is greater than the volume required then it is okay if not we have to change the dimensions step 4 we have to design the side walls first one is pressure see here the formula is given by this p alpha is equal to gamma h cos alpha into cos alpha root over minus root over cos square alpha minus cos square phi by cos alpha plus root over cos square alpha minus cos square phi this is according to the rank is theory and here alpha represents the angle of surcharge this portion but here i have mentioned it as phi i will tell you why here we are assuming it as alpha is equal to phi. Angle of repose is actually the inclination by which the material can be stable without sliding. That is called angle of repose. So generally the angle of surcharge is equal to the angle of repose. Then horizontal component becomes this much. P is equal to gamma h into cos square alpha. So sorry, cos square phi. So later in the second step we have to assume the thickness of side walls and find the effective span. So this is a cross section of the bunker. See here, for effective span, we know that very well. We have to find out the length plus the inner length. These are all inner dimensions I have given you. Uh, uh, I have been giving you length plus one, half the thickness this side, half the thickness this side. So one thickness. Length plus one thickness gives us the effective span length. So here also the thickness can be assumed between 100 mm to 250 mm. Breadth is P plus thickness. B plus half thickness one side, half thickness one side, that is one thickness. Next, design moment at the supports and center of the long walls and short walls. This is a formula. So, at uh, design moment at the supports and center of the short walls. At the supports, this is the formula and at the center, these are the formulas. See here. P by 12 into L square plus B square minus EBL. All are known parameters. You can substitute all of them. P is the pressure we have just calculated. So you can find out all the things very clearly. Positive moment at the center of long walls A, B and C, D. These are A, B and C, D represent the long walls. So this is the formula. P L square by 8 minus P by 2. Sorry, P by 12 into L square plus B square minus P L. This is a, if we calculate that, we will get the positive moment at the center of long walls. 
this is positive moment at the center of the short pulse so this is the formula to find it out you know all the parameters all are given to you length you know breadth you know and p is the pressure we have calculated the thickness of side walls is designed for maximum bending moment and the reinforcement in the side walls are desi designed for maximum bending moment both are designed for maximum bending moment of course there is some role of tension here see here so we have to calculate the tension direct tension in the long walls is given by pb by 2 direct tension in the short walls is given by tb pl by 2 if it is a breadth we have to take length if it is a length we have to take the breadth we have to take the maximum one in between because even we are taking it for long walls and short walls separately we have to take the maximum one because we uh, we in practical we have uh, we don't provide uh, the same reinforcement for uh, we don't provide uh, the different reinforcement for long walls and short walls we provide the same uh, so we have to take the maximum one and we have to design for maximum one and we have to provide the same for long walls and short walls see here effective depth d is root over m minus t into x by q b here unknown things are m you know you have calculated we have to compare and you have to take the maximum one t is the maximum tension you have to compare the both tensions and we have to take the maximum x is the distance between the center of section and reinforcement position so you know again uh, this uh, from the rectangular water tanks otherwise i will tell you in the problem Q is a Q design constant that is given by this formula half into J into K into sigma CBC. Again, what is J is given by this formula. Again, what is K? That is this formula M into sigma CBC by sigma M sigma CBC plus sigma ST. Again, what is M? That is modular ratio that is given by this formula 280 by 3 into sigma CBC. These are all design constants. After that, B, we are assuming it for 1 meter. We are taking it for 1 meter. So now we have to find out the overall depth by assuming the effective cover see here reinforcement in the side walls next point that is ast is given by this formula m in m minus t x by sigma st jd here plus t my uh, t by sigma st you know all the parameters here sigma st is the design constant we have assumed there j is a again design constants i have given you the value and D is the effective depth, M is the maximum bending moment, T is the maximum tension, X is the distance from the section to the reinforcement position. We have to find out the distribution still later. After getting ASC, we have to find out the distribution still which has to be provided uh, uh, vertically. 0.12% of the cross-sectional area. See here. Step 5 is the, about design of hopper bottom. This is a for these are the formulas to find it out. Direct tension is given by WT cos theta. WT represents the total weight that is weight of the material, self weight of the material plus sorry, uh, weight of the material plus self weight of the hopper. Theta is the angle between a horizontal and sloping slab. Generally, we assume it as 45 degree degrees, otherwise, we can find it out by uh, the dimensions we have assumed. WT represents weight of the coal plus weight of the hopper. Weight of the hopper is given by this formula small a plus uh, b by 2 plus hs into root of, uh, so gamma, gamma c into t into 4 here see here hs represents the height of the sloping side this give, this is given by this formula capital a here sorry small a represents a hopper uh, top uh, dimension of the hopper b represents the bottom dimension of the hopper so after this we have to find out the weight of the hopper weight of the material we can easily find it out so that is the weight of the material at the hopper we know that very well during calculation uh, of volume in the first step see here reinforcement for direct tension that is ast is equal to t by sigma st t is the tension so the reinforcement here we have to find out the reinforcement with respect to tension not bending moment so we have to see the tension and we have to check the minimum reinforcement that is a 0.12 percent of cross sectional area if it is more that's okay otherwise we have to provide the minimum reinforcement later we have to find out the normal component for this hopper bottom so for this hopper bottom there, there is actually the horizontal pressure and the vertical pressure we have to take the resultant pn normal which is acting normal to this portion so that is given by this formula pn is gamma h into cos square theta plus cos square phi into sin square theta here unknown values are h that is hc plus hh by 2 plus hs by 2 these are all this is the formula to find out h gamma is the unit weight of the coal 
so why you know anglo